You can never overcome a person in front of you in a race. Achilles thought so. Let's find out. Today we will be talking about some mind-boggling paradoxes, so without further ado, let's jump in. Number 5. The Crocodile Paradox So according to this paradox, let's assume a situation in which a crocodile snatches a young boy from a riverbank. His mother pleads with the crocodile to return him, to which the crocodile replies that he will only return the boy safely if the mother can guess correctly whether or not he will indeed return the boy. There is no problem if the mother guesses that the crocodile will return him. If she is right, he is returned. If she is wrong, the crocodile keeps him. If she answers that the crocodile will not return him, however, we end up with a paradox. Like for example, if she is right and the crocodile never t intended to return the child, then the crocodile has to return him. But in doing so, he breaks his word and contradicts the mother's answer. On the other hand, if she is wrong and the crocodile actually did intend to return the boy, the crocodile must then keep him even though he intended not to, thereby also breaking his word. I don't know, man. This is quite interesting and weird at the same time. Number four, interesting numbers paradox. The interesting number paradox relies on imprecise definitions of interesting, making this a somewhat sillier and a mathematical version of the previous paradox. The best example for this is the number 1, is the first non-zero natural number, 2 is the smallest prime number, 3 is the first odd prime number, 4 is the smallest composite number, etc. And when you finally reach a number that seems to not have anything interesting about it, then the number is interesting by virtue of being the first number that is not interesting. Cool, isn't it? Quantum computing researcher Nathaniel Johnston came up with a clever revolution of the paradox. He actually came up with some sequences to show how uninteresting numbers and even found some such as the number 1136 or 14,228. Like, damn, that's one hell of a way to appear uninteresting. Number three, the card paradox. Now, this one is a fun one, and to explain this, imagine you're holding a postcard in your hand, on one side of it, which is written, the statement on the other side of this card is true. We'll call that statement A. Turn the card over, and the opposite side reads, the statement on the other side of this card is false. Trying to assign any truth to either statement A or B, however, leads to a paradox. If A is true, then B must be as well. But for B to be true, A has to be false. Oppositely, if A is false, then B must be false too, which ultimately makes A true. Now that's extremely fun to think of and is a good brain buster. It was actually invented by the British logician Philip Jourdain in the early 1900s, and it is a variation of the paradox called the liar paradox. Number 2. Achilles and the Tortoise The last paradox on our list is a pretty old one, and is one of a number of theoretical discussions of movement put forward by the Greek philosopher Zeno of Ali in the 5th century BC. When the race begins, Achilles unsurprisingly starts running at a speed much faster than the tortoise, so that by the time he has reached the 500 meter mark, the tortoise has only walked 50 meters further than him. And by the time he has reached the 555 meter mark, the tortoise has walked another 0.5 meters, and then 0.25 meters, then 0.25 meters, and so on. The process continues again and again over. Logically, this seems to prove that Achilles can never overtake the tortoise whenever he reaches somewhere the tortoise has been. He will always have some distance still left to go, no matter how small it might be. Except, of course, we know intuitively that he can overtake the tortoise. The trick here is not to think of Zeno's Achilles paradox in terms of distance and races, but rather as an example of how any finite value can always be divided an infinite number of times, no matter how small its divisions might become. Woo! I mean, it seems really weird, but it totally is awesome to think about. Number 1. The Bootstrap Paradox This one is my favorite, and you might remember this one from one of our previous videos. Let's come to the point this is a paradox of time travel that questions how something that is taken from the future and placed in the past could ever come into being in the first place. It's a common trope used by science fiction writers and has inspired plot lines in everything from Doctor Who to the Bill and Ted movies. Like all things good started from this. Imagine that a time traveler buys a copy of Hamlet from a bookstore, travels back to Elizabethan England, and hands the book to Shakespeare, who then copies it out and claims it as his own work. That's it for today. 
Let us know which paradox on the list was the most mind boggling for you in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.